Hey everybody, Luke from Guy Reviews. Hey, I'm recording this on my phone real quick, but I'm doing a review of the Tapo door sensor from TP-Link. Now, this is my ADP security system and this is the Tapo sensor. They both do the same thing. They just notify you when a door or window or something like that is opened or closed. Now, I've had some issues with ADP staying connected to my Amazon Alexa. And because of that, I've got this TP-Link system here because we have a young child who likes to try to open doors and leave. And if you, he's very quiet and very fast at it. So we put these sensors on so it would make an announcement through our home when that's happening. Overall, a couple quick things here on the install. Very simple, a couple sticky pads. You just stick it onto the door like this, leaving a little gap so the door can open and close. Very simple. There is actually a little range here, and I'll show you that in a second of how wide that can be on the back door. But it was very easy to install. Follow the instructions in the app, super, super simple. Let's go look at the other door real quick. I'll show you how big a gap this can be. All right, I'm at the back door by our garage. Now you can see significantly bigger gap, but listen carefully. You may have heard that garage door is open. It did successfully sense that I opened that and closed it without problems. Very simple to set up. A few things here. In order for this to connect to Amazon Alexa, you do need a TP Home link. Let me go show you that real quick. Hey everybody, here is the Home Hub. I called this a link a second ago. It's actually a hub. It links your um, door sensors to things like Google Home, Amazon Alexa, and the like. So you can do things like create a routine to announce through the home through a smart speaker, for example that, hey, somebody's there. You can also do other fun things like, and I'll show you this in a minute, when you open the garage door, the lights in your kitchen or living room or something will automatically turn on if you have a compatible set of devices. I'll show you all that in a minute. First though, hey, a few things. I will put a link to all this in the show notes and in the first pinned comment, including links to them on Amazon. You can find them there. But overall, very simple little device, just plugs in the wall, sits there, you connect it to your Wi-Fi through the uh, Tapo app and took me about two minutes to set up took longer for it to download and update and be ready to roll Than it did to connect it to my Wi-Fi From there you connect this through the app again super simple to do to your door sensors water sensors all kinds of other TP link design sensors and you can control them a variety of ways Let's take a look at that through the Amazon Alexa app I'll show you how in there I do it, but you can also create routines inside the um, Tapo, Lack from T Tapo app from TP-Link. Let's take a look at the app and show you creating some, some routines. All right, so I'm in my Amazon Alexa app. Now you can create routines in many different apps for this. You can link it to your Google, then you use your Google Home app. I'm going to demonstrate on Alexa because it's how I did it. Now you can see I have a few different routines here I've been messing around with. But I got two big ones. Like I said, I have a toddler who is super fast at getting to doors. And we want to make sure that, and he's quiet. It's the worst part. You, you think you would hear the door open and close. He's so quiet doing it. We want to make sure we hear him when he comes and goes so we don't lose track of where he is. So here, for example, at the front door, in it you can create a routine from scratch to show you this. But you say things like, when the front door opens, then for us it says Alexa will say door is open. I'll show you some other actions and then you tell what to do. And for us, we have a, a home audio system that goes through and we put a, T, a echo input on it. So throughout an entire home, it will just quickly say front door is open. That allows us to know somebody is coming and going. You can do many other things with this. You can have it play specific music, give you information about delivery updates, play the news, whatever, give you the weather as you walk in. But I think most people will be in this smart home. You can do things like adjust the thermostats. You can go in here and turn on or off lights. You can also, um, all kinds, you can have cameras come up, contact sensors, all kinds of things. <laughs> Even tell it to maybe turn on or off your vacuum. If you have a smart vacuum, if you come home, you can tell it to go turn off and go back to its charging port and stop running, for example. Two I would use probably often would be the lights um, on this. So you walk in it automatically would turn on a light or two and probably also things like the thermostat the temp and the like but you can go in here and do all kinds of different things but like we said we set it up so that it would do a preset phase or um saying 
And you can customize it like we did to notify us that the front door is open, which is really simple. And when you do it, now when you open and close doors, it will automatically go ahead and play um, a particular sound. Let's do that here, give you an idea what it sounds like. Well, there you go. There is our solution to make sure our son is being safe as he is learning to bolt out doors and explore the wild and try to get outside without mom and dad knowing. Overall, I'll say I was very impressed with the TP-Link door sensors. One big note here is I did get a bunch of them to do all the doors in our home. One of them, and only one, failed to work. The rest worked without issues, had no problems at all with them. So I'm going to return that one to Amazon and get a replacement, but overall, very impressed. And I say the one that failed, it looked like the blue tab that covers the battery. You're supposed to pull it when you want to start using the battery. For some reason, it was off and allowed the battery probably to start being drained, and that's probably the problem is the battery's just dead since none of the lights come on when we fully removed the blue tag. Overall, though, I've used TP-Link sensors, um, smart plugs, and the like for many years in my home. This is just an expansion of that. Integrating it with Amazon Alexa was easy. I'm sure Google Home was equally easier. I was very pleased with the quality of it. So I'm gonna give it two thumbs up, link in the show notes, and in the first pinned comment. If you like what we do here, please hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here.